Vice President Constantino Chiwenga seeking to publicly absolve himself from an invading political gamemanship with his superior, President Emerson Munangagwa, has said his NPF was ready to initiate a constitutional amendment, which will see the ruling party's first secretary become Zimbabwe's life president. Chiwenga, whose estranged wife, Mary Mubaiwa, now languishing in remand prison, despite her serious illness, exposed his presidential ambitions and an inclination to topple Munangagwa last year was addressing ZANPF supporters in Baitbridge Wednesday. The Zimbabwean constitution passed in 2018 by 94.5% of the electorate provides for two five-year presidential term limits. Jakari Manzgwapano chairman Majitaura Kuti last month in October, we had the National People's Conference in Bindura, which was chaired by the national chairman and all the provinces in Zimbabwe, including all of you, said you want an able leader who can lead in 2023, Chiwenga said. You all say that you want Shumba, Murambwi, Bamnangagwa, Diwa Watcha Pinda Na 2023, so that all his plans will succeed in 2013. Mandu Zino Zawo Mashaya, Wakati Pano Ne Apo, Vanige Vachungo Taura Zisina Mnaturo, Isu Tiruku Pinda Na Wamu Nanga Gwa 2023, Diwa Watine Geti Na Avo, our enemies are running scared and saying nonsensical things. We will go into the 2023 election with our president Munangagwa, Chiwenga said. Kana zanu ichi tuonga kusikira madongi amera nyanga, kana mutemo wacho futi tuno chinja wakaramba wachita naru, toti ndivo vatino oda kusikira amen. Sakadai zanga zishito vida, vato nyara la jabo kutizi, iwo wongo miri la chete kujigasaza tichivari mira. We will not hesitate to amend the constitution to allow him to rule for life if they keep saying what they are saying. So they must hold their peace and have their meals while we work for them. Chiwenga said in an apparent effort to appease his boss. A power struggle has been simmering for the past three years between Munangagwa and Chiwenga, with factions said to be belonging to them fighting bitterly over control of party structures. The fight has worsened during the ongoing restructuring exercise. Munangagwa and the former Zimbabwe Defense Forces commander are fighting for the heart and soul of ZANU-PF and control of the levers of state power. The difference between the two emerged after the November 27 coup over several issues, such as type of transitional arrangement, key appointments, including cabinet posts and Munangagwa's tenure.